Good morning. It's good to talk to you again as we, we stop in here on Wednesday morning following Easter. I hope that you've had uh, a good week and enjoying the beauty outside that we finally got into. It's a little, little dicey there on, on Sunday night, night. I hope everybody made it through the storms okay. And I just want to share a couple of words with you. Uh, still checking in until we're able to get back together. I was taking a walk this weekend and on the podcast I was listening to, the, uh, the speaker was talking about the importance of turning up the volume on some of the influences and speakers coming into our lives and turning down the volume on some of those thoughts and influences coming into our lives. Not that we neglect the things that are going on out there, not that we minimize them, but that we don't allow them to override our faith and our hope and that we constantly listen to the news cycle and all those things. I finally had to turn it off for a while. Now I check in every once in a while, but I can't listen to it all day long. And I hope you're learning and have figured out which, which radio stations, which books, which blogs, which uh, information you're getting that, that feeds your faith and not your fears and uh, that we think about the good things. To that end, listen to these words from the Apostle Paul. Philippians chapter four, verses eight and nine. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. And so let's, let us continue to listen to the things and do the things that we found in Scripture and that we hear from Christ and uh, that our faith might be uplifted. I'm thinking about you all the time. I'm praying for you, and I, and I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. God loves you, and so do I, and I hope together that we'll be back in this place worshiping him before we know it. It may still be a little while, but we will be back together. And until then, God bless and I love you.